you know, pretend that we're doing everything correctly, but to really like assess. We, you know, it's, it's almost like forcing yourself to go to school on yourself. You know, people don't want to do any more schoolwork than they already have to. You know, if, that's, if I can get off work at 5 o'clock and I'm done for the day, there's no more thinking. Done. Ah, there's your self-improvement. Suck my dick. I'm going to sleep. You know, give me my Ambien. Stop yelling at me. You know, and I think, uh, I think that's, that's, that's a part of it, too. I think people are, uh, a lot of people are just too tired to try to in, improve themselves. You, you know? know, it's funny that we, you always talk about how you watch it and all that stuff. Yeah. In reality, if you really look into it, mm -hmm. you're a smart guy. If you really look into the coca plant... It started out as a mild hallucinogenic that kind of gave you a little bit of energy. Yeah, well, the, the, the people in high altitudes, they chew the leaves. They chew the leaves. And, and it's, apparently it's healthy for you. You know, those guys, I read some of those guys lived to 80, 90. Yeah. They work under the sun, the altitude. Really you know, high up there, it's too. It's we, it's us mm -hmm. that destroyed this drug. You know, we put it into powder form and all this shit. And then what do they do? How do they take it? They take it out of the coca leaves, and then they somehow know there has to become a white powder. It becomes a paste, and then they put it on this fucking block. I've never processed but why do, it. The, but, you can't get that experience from the coca leaf, right? You have to break it down to the yes, white powder but to get that I will tell cocaine you one charge. Thing. I do know one thing. I did blow in the 80s and in the late 70s, and the blow that's on the street now, it's two complete different highs. Really? Yeah, in the seventies, it was uh, it, in, the, in the early eighties, it was cocaine. It wasn't processed. There was no fillers. There was no pink slime. Right. You know what I'm saying? There it was just made people shit. feel great. It was. It was, bro. It didn't fucking make people lose their houses because it made them feel bad. The problem with cocaine it was the marketing. It wasn't cocaine that was so good. It was the marketing. We've discussed this. The marketing was brilliant. They gave it to people who had a lot of money and musicians and athletes, and they gave people. That were poor or mid, uh, 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 twenty minutes of feeling important. Oh my God! In the eighties, everybody was sniffing. That's how a lot of athletes apparently get hooked after they stop, stop uh, f competing. You know, they, they they like miss a charge. You know, they miss something, and then they'll start hanging around with people who party. And you know, that's the, all of a sudden now they're getting it out of. A lot of boxers stop ended their life that way. Sonny Liston. <clears throat> Sonny Liston ended his life that way. A lot of guys did. They uh, they would just start doing drugs. Uh, Joe Lewis, I'm pretty sure he started doing well, drugs. The fucking spark is gone. So you yeah. The artificial spark, and the artificial it. spark isn't as good. Sugar Ray it's Leonard like, had a it's problem. Like, it's like Sivia fucking sugar. It ain't as good De La as Hoya sugar. had a problem. Yeah, putting on stockings and shit like that. Doing, getting coked up, too. I mean, that was I put on stockings King one night with a chick. Were you coked up? <laughs> to the fucking gills. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, everybody was saying. She sucked my dick, but I didn't take no pictures. Everybody was saying that Oscar De La Hoya is gay. And I'm like, no, Oscar De La Hoya does coke, okay? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. He's, he, just because he's weird. He's hanging out with girls, man. Do you understand? He's, he's hanging out with these his honor. stupid, hot Russian strippers, and he's, 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 he's coked out of his mind wearing women's clothes. You refuse <laughs> to believe that he's, he's just been married for I don't, He might be, but I don't believe he's so. He's been married for 10 years. He's been fucking with a sheet on for seven he goes to New York, <laughs> and some Russian chicks puts a fucking, that Chernobyl tongue in his asshole. You know what I'm <laughs> that Chernobyl tongue turns the fucking lights out on you. You'll be waiting on line for toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? He fucking went bananas. And this way, yeah. bro, it, just, it just happens in our society, and what are you going to do? It's funny with Greg that night. We were talking about what cocaine did. You know, with acid and pills, nobody lost their fucking house in the 70s. You right. smoked the joint, it was $2. Right. All of a sudden, cocaine came, and people were losing their fucking homes, and... What, so 